Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, this is Silent 117. I am so sorry that I haven't been making videos for a while, and I'm sorry my hair is a mess, but whatever. Anyways, today I've been so busy doing so many stuff, and uh, I've been practicing drawing, I've been doing many different things, I got a haircut, <laughs> so yeah. Today I'm at home alone for now. I know how long that will last, but I will talk about my cartoon show project. Yes, I am. My biggest dream when I was a kid was, ever since from childhood, it was to make my own action superhero cartoon show uh, for all ages, of course. And I'm gonna look at some pictures that I have and show it on on YouTube. So from about my drawings. I will just do a few things. Basically, I haven't been practicing driving and it's been crazy lately. But anyways, uh, I've been, I will show you some pictures about the drawings I will talk about from my smartphone. And I will tell exactly details, as, as much details as possible for my cartoon show project. I'm already writing a script for the show, but it's still in work in progress. I don't know how to animate well, and I might train with flash. My 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 train with flash animation, but unfortunately, I think a traditional animation is a lot better than flash animation because I think flash animation is overused way too much. But you know, that's just me, my personal opinion, but I'm not looking at the camera as usual. And it's been crazy, I'm trying to clean my computer, my desk, everything, and now I'm gonna talk about my cartoon show project, so I don't waste too much time. But anyways, let's begin. So the first drawing is my main character. Now, the show I am thinking to be called, for it to be called, Dragon Warrior. Now, my original idea for the show was, uh, you know, for the, you know, the sword belt that the main character has on his middle is the fact I wanted to make it blue, like the previous drawing I am showing here. Now, the, the reason why I decided to draw it like dark, darker red or darker brown, I think it's darker brown a lot more than darker green, is it's because too much blue is like too much everything. But anyways, the character, the main superhero character is is actually an inspiration from Samurai. Is an inspired superhero from Samurai Jack and Spider-Man. And as you guys can tell, he's holding a s magical sword. And I wanted to make the sword more unique, and uh, give it more a uh, unique design, but also a little bit simpler. So. If people animating uh, who want to help me animate this show um, and make a pilot out of it uh, can make uh, you know the sword animation a lot easier. Uh, as you guys can tell, uh, for the sword, it has like sharp uh, teeth at the bottom where the sharp sharpness of the sword is. Where, you know where you cut things. I wanted to make it more you know design more you know recognizable more you know you know symbolic for the character and he has blue eyes and those blue eyes are actually glowing and um, because uh, through his you know eyes his mask is because uh, he activates his powers and his eyes are glowing and also I wanted to give him a unique design and I gave him bandages all over the body because the character represents me uh, for obvious reasons and because the character has skin condition and he's wearing bandages because he's afraid to be called a freak and he hides his like true identity for pe from people including his superhero identity so I, wa I, I also wanted to add him to add, a, add more like f elements to the character like you know fire elements because he uses fire abilities, fire magic, and yeah, it's a magical yeah, kind of superhero show, but I wanted to make it more epic than it already is, but I wanted to have, have him blue flames around his fist, and also around his sword, 
but unfortunately I'm not very good uh, I'm still practicing drawing them uh, I am try I am actually getting better at drawing human characters as you can, as you can tell uh, the fist and especially the fingers are as you guys can tell <clears throat> the drawing inspiration from the fist especially the fingers are from Samurai Jack uh, and Danny Phantom and because I think even though it is used for Danny Phantom and Randy Cunningham, Nightwing Ninja and Samurai Jack I wanted to make it make a similar style for my show because for action cartoons uh, especially if you're starting out to make a cartoon show I think a little bit simpler animation is a lot is the best uh, option for making a cartoon show so it doesn't get too complicated but yeah and also he wears a gray mask with a bandana on his head he, some people might think he's a ninja, but the, basically, I, like I said, I wanted to give him a more unique style. Now, a lot of people, when they, they look at this drawing, especially the superhero design, a lot of people might think he's a villain. But I think that I think that was my true intention because <clears throat> because I wanted to make him, a, you know, a unique design. I wanted to give him regular street clothes as a superhero like costume. Because he's not very smart, and also another thing is that drawing a character with a superhero costume is is really complicated, uh, especially when, do, when you try to do animations uh, for the character. Also, I'm not very creative with making costume designs, so I do apologize for that. So yeah, this is my main character. He's holding a so his magical sword, and basically the character discovers the sword in a lo like a lost temple that is buried beneath underneath the forest and the temple was never discovered until now and he finds a magical sword and that magical sword gives him magical abilities unfortunately those magic magical abilities that he has is are so massive that he can't use his powers for too long because uh, he will get a heart attack and his vision will get blurry if he uses those powers for too long so he trains his body in the forest uh, he founds another like abandoned place uh, like abandoned gym or something and he tries to make uh, to make his body stronger because the superpowers he gets don't give him like super strength or anything like that if he wants strength he has to earn it and he also and his powers also work through emotions and so he tries to meditate and tries to figure out how to control his powers so yeah that's my general idea because uh, I watch also Teen Titans and the powers are from inspiration of Raven from Teen Titans, the original Teen Titans, not Teen Titans Go. Oh my god, I can't, I don't want to talk about the show anymore. <laughs> Sorry guys, it just pisses me off. But uh, yeah, that's my general idea for the cartoon show. The superhero powers are teleportation. He can deflect fire abil other fire abilities, but for only for short periods of time. He can uh, like deflect them uh, if, if he uses the right mo moves. Because I like, I also watched the day after the last number, and when he deflects like fire abilities, I want him to move like uh, you know the waterbenders from you know Legend of Korra or you know the last Airbender move TV series. Like he goes around and he just throws the fire ability that he was thrown at, at against the enemy. He also can, you know, deflect also water and so many other uh, abilities. But uh, but he can't. His biggest weakness is electricity and also his uh, powers uh, because his powers are super massive and he can fully control them. So. Uh, because he's still human and if he uses those powers for too long, he will die. So yeah, th that's pretty deep for a cartoon show, I know, right? <laughs> but and, you know, for me, I think kids deserve more, deserve m a lot more deeper and serious cartoons because kids aren't stupid and I want to make, make an, an action slash superhero cartoon show for kids, teenagers and adults, basically for every, every age group because uh, I, especially for kids, because I want kids to be prepared for the future, and it's a snowstorm outside, fantastic. But anyways, I really want to make a cartoon show, 
uh, for kids, uh, action superhero cartoon show for kids, because I want them to pre for prepare for the future and also have characters that uh, kids also have a main character that, the kid, that kids can relate to on a personal level. So, next up is my villains, my first drawn villains. Now, unfortunately, I am terrible. <laughs> like I said, I am still practicing drawing. I tried to draw villains, but unfortunately that didn't work out. The first villain is actually one of the one of the episode ideas. Pretty, it will be a pretty dark episode, but I don't know if if it's gonna be if I'm gonna air that episode because you know people are always complaining. Oh, it's too dark for kids. Kids can't handle this kind of stuff. But the this. But seriously, guys, kids can handle dark situations. They need to because uh, real world is not Humpty Dumpty, rainbows and unicorns, and they need to realize that real life is tough, and and also they need to learn that uh, people can make mistakes, and they they have to learn from them. Basically, one of the first villains is a girl villain, one of the first girl villains, and one one of these ideas is that she got possessed by. A lot of villains I have come up with is from mon from many bullies uh, from elementary school. No, if if these bullies were watching this, I hope they don't get offended. It's just like an uh, uh, if situation, or basically, it's just from my imagination. So, apologies, but you guys made my childhood horrible. So I so yeah. But anyways, uh, I want the show to have like bully characters. One of the bullies is the, well, a lot of bullies are uh, affected by these powers, those magical powers, but in the wrong way, and now they use those powers for the wrong reason. So now I'm spinning on on the fucking computer, <laughs> and <laughs> God damn it, I shouldn't have used swear words. Sorry. But anyways, um, the the character is one of the, the girl villain is possessed by a dark power and she's a friend with one another girl who both have dark hair but one is like a demeanor girl another is the nice girl but uh, the main hero struggles e to choose either to save the girl from the, that dark power she's possessed from or just leave it her that because he still hasn't forgiven the girl, the girls that bullied him for many years in the elementary, and uh, he's still angry about how he made his, how they made his life miserable. But he then has a change of heart and he tries to stop the villain from hurting innocent people and or killing them. The next up is actually a character from. Actually, an inspiration from one of my favorite fighting games, Tekken. But unfortunately, I never played the older Tekken games, but I really liked the design from Devil Kazuya, or, you know, Devil Kazuya, yeah. And I wanted to make a similar villain from... Uh, because he's like smug villain, he thinks, uh, you know, these powers make him stronger and more popular, but also he becomes insane because those powers he got is... Uh, from an alien parasite that uh, just got through his skin and his body transformed uh, like like in a painful way. Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of dark for a kids show, but you know, we, kids need to handle this kind of stuff. But can't handle this kind of stuff. But the villain is called Electric Devil, and yeah, one of my first original, you know, one of my first original character names and. The Electric Devil is basically a, you know, a, a, basically he's like an alien demon and he has electric powers, he also can teleport and he's basically kind of like the main character's arch rival and he basically wants to prove to the, to the world or something that he's stronger than any, everyone but the main character always tries to stop him and he always teases him and asks him what are you fighting for, so yeah. Uh, next up is one of my personal and my most proudest drawings I ever drew is the Electric Knight. Now he's also one of the villains, but he's like one of those those deep and you know serious villains, and not kind of super deep. And I am thinking another villain that uh, is like 
a lot darker villain, a more serious villain, like a big threat. But I know if any of the these like companies will accept that kind of villain. But anyways, the Electric Knight is also one of my one of my former bullies. Uh, he's like a tough guy. He's very strong, but he thinks that ever since he got he, his powers from an electrical sword, and he got his this armor. He can fly with. Like he has like an electrical jetpack or something, he can absorb electricity from nature, you know, from the sky. But the electric devil, for example, he can absorb electricity from wires or you know any electrical devices or electrical cars. But uh, but you know, electric knights uh, powers, electrical powers are from uh, you know nature, from the sky. So yeah. But anyways, he's like tough one cookie, and his armor design is actually an inspiration from uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2003 show that I loved watching as a kid. And one of one of the sword designs, uh, one of the swords uh, has a very unique design. It's called Sword of Tengu, and I really wanted to make a similar design, uh, you know, the handle design for like the armor, like white and yellow armor. And make him look like kind of like the Shredder, uh, kind of similar. But unfortunately, you can see his skin through the mask, and he has like a unique design. But yeah, I also wanted to give him like a unique sword, like a you know, like a there's a handle. The sword handle is like a, in the middle of the oval place, and outside there are two blades. I can show the picture later. But uh, Electric Knight is like the one of those characters uh, one of those villains who thinks uh, stronger the strongest people deserve to live uh, but uh, weak people are, do not deserve to live and he terrorized the city but uh, unfortunately dragon warrior has a tough time dealing with uh, you know the electric knight because he's very powerful and his weakness is still at electricity he can deflect it but his uh, magical powers can actually protect him from very high voltage of electricity but if he gets hit too much by electricity he can die but uh, one of the episode scenarios i want is that uh, the main character is, the, is getting injured so much from the electric knight is that he loses control and he fights with anger and hatred and one of his arms like turns like becomes flamey like like mutilated and like it's transforming inside the flames and he got his like blade two blades uh, on like shoulders and he gets claws as well and he then his hand transforms into a dragon hand and he loses control and his body parts start to transform more and more of a dragon and he has now sharp teeth and glowing yellow eyes i can show you that design later but it was a tough tough design to draw but like i said i'm still practicing drawing as much as i can so anyways let's move on now this is a driving like a speculation like uh, you know size comparison basically this is the finished driving of the electric knight i wanted to have i wanted to add him more like lining parts uh, through in his armor because like i don't want the character to be completely naked so yeah <laughs> silly me and there's the sword now, unfortunately i the sword design i kind of messed up because uh, i needed to draw there, I've, I should have drawn the sword a little bit wider and more bigger so uh, you guys can see how the sword looks like but yeah this is the sword uh, the biggest problem for me is drawing poses but you know whatever next drawing is the, now this is like a personal drawing is uh, is another inspiration from Gravity Falls, one of the episodes uh, called well, Not What He Seems. And one of the scenes really inspired me to draw, to draw this drawing. Uh, this is the main character in the apocalypse, like in you know, the apocalypse setting. He has like torn up cape, and uh, you can you guys can see he has a hoodie, and uh, he's a human eyes, like he, he also carries his magical sword around with him, and he wears green jeans, belt, belt and also a green bandana he doesn't wear a mask but he covers his like mouth so people don't discover his identity and he also wears like gauntlets uh, around his legs and, and on arms like as you guys can tell 
And this design really inspired me from one of the, my favorite Gravity Falls episodes, Not What He Seems. And I really, I feel proud to draw this care, this my my main character in the apocalyptic setting because I always wondered how my character would look like in an apocalyptic setting and I drew them. Now as you guys can tell the eyes look weird like like kind of creepy some people might say but I wanted to give uh, you know my show a unique style I don't want him to have you know the same style as Adventure Time and, and many other shows nowadays so I wanted to give him more humane eyes and also uh, as you guys tell, he looks more humane and uh, very serious, like creepy looking. But I want to give him more humane eyes. And the sun is bright as hell. Why do you do this, sun? Ah, I hate sometimes recording in my room because it's super bright at times. But yeah, this is my 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 apocalyptic settings and. I always wonder how the character would look like you know, in the apocalypse and I feel really proud to draw this character in the apocalyptic setting and and I wanted the gauntlets to have more grey color on them like silver but unfortunately I changed the idea to blue because blue is like his signature color especially when he has like blue flames blue tattoos around him and he uses his powers and st stuff like that and blue is like a signature color like similar to Danny Phantom and he uses his powers his signature color is like green so yeah I wanted to give him like a unique style unique powers and stuff like that Next up is Mikey Man character being captured. This is actually a setting for like season 2 finale and season 2 beginning. I wanted to make a one season that is like a big homage to Samurai Jack. They may, I want to tell the kind of like something similar to like the main character is captured by a by an unknown organization and they have like this future technology and they think and one of the main people she she will be also a villain she be also be villainous but also she will be like Lex Luthor or Black Knight from Generator X and uh, she thinks technology is the best way to go to make the world a better place but unfortunately she can let go she can realize that some things sh shouldn't be changed with technology and when she discovers there are magic people who use magical abilities he captures the main hero with her army and now he is being captured uh, he's being now in the third season he's being hunted down and he travels around the world to to try to get away from people to, who try to hunt him down and also he learns new things when he travels around the world he learns how to ride a horse a motorcycle he then uses uh, more lethal weapons but he he like he uses the future weapons that the soldiers use, you know, the secret organization. I still have come up with a name for it, so I'm, I apologize. But um, he becomes like a fugitive, he uses a regular katana blade. Now, he doesn't have his magical sword around him because I want to. This, this season will be a little bit more tense. I want to give attention to the show and the main character has no sword and if he's separated from the sword too long he loses control over his powers and now he has to use his powers in more of like a minimum uh, min more like a minimum uh, capacity if he uses his powers for a little too long he loses control and he fights like a monster because the villainess wants to show the world that the dragon warrior the superhero is more like is more of a monster than a hero to, he she wants to show the world but uh, the main character actually inspired many different people who want to be heroes and and now that he becomes a fugitive some of the people actually try to help him and teach him new things new fighting styles so he can be more prepared to face off bigger threats like he does in the third season and yeah yeah my show i want my show to run for four seasons i want and also maybe a fifth season but it will be like a new series like a continuation but i don't know how they will work out but for now i'm thinking to run the show for four seasons and that is it and i might probably to might create a different show uh for people 
Uh, but now, now I won't really want to make uh, my action and cartoon show a reality. Now next up is my main character without the, his disguise. Now this is my main character without his disguise. I have always have trouble drawing in people, especially animated characters, with glasses. But unfortunately, it's been really tough. And and this time I ca uh, somehow finally did it. And uh, he, as you guys can see, he still wears bandages around his arm and his neck. Uh, I want him bandages like he's all, all over his stomach, his arms, neck, and somewhere between his legs. And uh, he hides them when he wears, wears regular clothes. And like I said, the character is based off of me because I, I myself have been through a lot. And I want to make a main character that is relatable for many people who kind of suffered similar things to... To, to similar things that I have suffered through many years in the past, so yeah. But yeah, uh, the hair I always have trouble drawing, you know, heads, faces, hair, and also poses. I only can draw, draw him like he, he puts his hands in a hoodie pocket and he like waves, but unfortunately, I can't draw poses. I actually try to draw poses. Here's next. Here's the next drawing, uh, I tr like I said, I tried to draw poses. This is a pose where the main character jumps from the air and like air kicks uh, somebody, but unfortunately that really didn't work out. Uh, the upper body, the pose on the upper body it actually looks really good, but as for but as for bottom, especially his legs, uh, they look like he's more like dancing than he's doing an air kick, because I can't like... Like I said, I, I am really terrible at poses, and I hope I can find somebody who can help me draw a little bit, who can help me draw a little bit better. Uh, can go to university or something to draw, to learn how to draw better, uh, especially poses, because I really want to make this show a reality, and and it has been my dream since, since I was a kid, and I hope someday I will make the show a reality. So next up is main character he in his pajamas. Um, uh, cross legs like in you know, like in yoga pose um, um, uh, holding his magical sword and he questions why why the sword chose him and if he's is he worthy to wield such a incredible power that he doesn't know how to fully control and yeah this is like this is gonna be a deep show and yeah, he's wearing socks, like I said. Like I said, I'm very really terrible at drawing poses, especially I have trouble drawing legs, uh, especially finger legs, legs in general, because it's so hard to do and uh, it's not easy, but practice makes perfect and I am still practicing drawing. And next up is... Now this is like a crossover driving and basically a random crossover driving. It's not like official, but I shared it on Twitter. Basically, this is a crossover drawing between Danny Phantom and Dragon Warrior. Um, Danny Phantom mistakes the main character, my own main character that I'm trying to create in in the animated in the animated world. He's confusing him for a villain because he kind of dresses like a villain, kind of similar, and they have a, a fight with each other. As you guys can tell, I have troubles drawing poses, and like as you guys can see, Danny's one of Danny's hands is way too big, like fat, like buff, and his head looks way too weird. And main character's legs are a little bit short because I want him like ha make him a teenager, like si 16 years old or something. And the last one is main character losing his control. Now this is a, this is one thing I really wanted to do, but it's it was really difficult to draw because as you guys can tell, uh, he hi his eyes glow yellow because he's like more like he turn he goes into beast mode, and his transformation is kind of similar to the Incredible Hulk, but. Mm, kind, kind of similar, but at the same time it isn't. And he has sharp teeth. He has bruises. He has these claws. Like what the hell, guys? Like it was really hard to do. As you can tell, I not, I didn't draw his claws on his legs, like five fingers. I draw him instead of three because if you guys want to make a beast like uh, like a monster or something, uh, then have him like a monster like you know abilities or looks but yeah he's not a real monster but he loses controls and he has these kind of uh, you know 
beast-like looking abilities. I wanted to draw fire around him, like he make him more beastly, like kind of like a Super Saiyan, but uh, kind of similar to Super Saiyan mode. But unfortunately, that would be like rip off from Dragon Ball Z. But you know, cartoons and shit. But I really want to. I want to learn how to draw elements like fire, water, and stuff like that, so I can draw like more action scenes for the characters, so I can show the, you know, show the idea of the show to have kind of like these abilities. So this is is it so far. I have still. I'm gonna continue my writing the script, but <laughs> goddamn, it's hard to breathe in these headphones. So, um. I'm gonna take a drink, um, a healthier drink, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I do apologize if it's a really long video, but I hope my cartoon show project will be a re become a reality. One of my friends from Facebook suggested me to, to uh, show this video or tell my show idea to Nickelodeon, either to Nickelodeon or Disney. Now, the problem is that, one, Nickelodeon will not allow that, uh, pro de most definitely not, and definitely not Disney as well, because my show is kind of li pretty dark. I think my best bet to have this kind of show, the action cartoon show, is either either Adult Swim and, or Netflix, and that is pretty much it, because I don't want... I don't want, want, want to work for Cartoon Network, right? not right now, especially considering how Cartoon Network is been training other shows nowadays, especially when I saw the new CN schedule, which made me super angry, and and I'm super done with Cartoon Network, so now I'm watching, you know, episodes or cartoons, through Kiss Cartoon, and I'm also doing a Samurai Jack marathon, also Samurai Jack, We'll have fifth season on 11th March, so I hope you guys are ready because I am. I loved Summer Jack since I was a kid, and and because of Summer Jack, it it inspired me to make to make this crazy show to make a reality to make it uh, like an animated show. So I hope it will become a reality. Wish me luck, and I hope you guys uh, like this video. Share this video with others, and I will see you guys later or whatever.